Oh yes, the sweet sounds of the El Dorado High School Marching Band. They are our band of the week. Welcome back. It's a rematch of the 2009 Class 4 Championship game. The Goddard Rockets bested the Berlin Eagles that day, 28 to 21. Same coaches, different players, same field tonight. Got it up 7 3 in the fourth. First play in the fourth, and his quarterback Cameron Neff calling his own number, and bye bye, off to the races. Touchdown, Rockets 14 3. They would lead it at that point. Yep, and the siren is going off, and the hometown folk sad, the visitors happy. Eagles trying to make a comeback. Quarterback Chris Peralta dropping back. Eliza. Valtteris on the near sideline for the first down, and that man didn't want to go down, did he? Nope. Same drive, Trent Barba getting the pumpkin, and up the middle he goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Two-point conversion would fail, 14-9 Rockets. I think Coach Lerma always says these guys ready to go, and uh, he did a really good job. And like I said, we got a little soft here at the last, trying to play a little prevent defense, which never works well. All right. Lobos of Chaparral at the Roswell High Coyotes. Roswell High started off fast and fierce. Now take a look at number nine, Bryce Green, holding onto the ball himself, dodging defender after defender, and after several close calls, finds an opening on the right side, gains about 15 yards on the play. You know what? That's called sticking to your guns. This time, Lobos ball, but Roswell's Dominic Anaya sneaking in, getting the interception, almost making it to the end zone. Stopping and dropping and setting up shop. Coyotes, Stephen Fraser, converting on a turnover. And Stephen, got somewhere to go. End zone, Rawls will beat in Chaparral, 49 to nothing. It's the final. Skylights come from I-40 East. Reporter pilot Bob Martin and photographer Matt Romo start their journey in Santa Rosa where the Lions are thinking about a four-peat season. Skylights, what can you say about that? From the air, Isaac Velasquez starting to the left, then comes all the way back across the field. Isaac, are you going to get into the end zone? <laughs> I think I will, bruh. 31 to nothing, Santa Rosa at the half. All they do is ball down there. Second half, Lions coming back out on the field. Then Ryan Lopez can't get stopped. Ryan, he could go. No, he ain't going to go all the way, but he does get a long run. Sets up another touchdown. His own, Ryan Lopez getting the rock again. Into the end zone, he goes, 38 to nothing, Lions. Then, cheerleader says, we want one more, boys. Joshua Flores says, I got it. The capper, 45 to nothing, Santa Rosa with the victory. Dexter Demons at Tucum carry. Dexter feeling it. Nasil Barrentos, the long run, sets himself up because he's gonna get the rock again if he would just fall down for this one. Six yards out, he's in, seven to nothing, Dexter in the first. Demons defense getting in on the action. How about Dominic Lomelli sacking Michael Olivas? Michael, you got to go down. Sack lunch coming your way, peanut butter sandwich not included. Dennis Berenses again, all the way down to the two yard line. Big fella, do your thing. Sets up a fourth and goal. Kyle Bonner says, I got this. Looking up, finding Israel Gonzalez. Touchdown, 14-0 Dexter at that point. They go on to win it. 23 to nothing. It was in the fourth last score reported. We need to take a break. The power pole is on the way. And it's back to Valencia County for Jaguars on Jaguars. And is the team holding the spirit stick also holding a victory? Capitan versus Estancia when we come back first. Check out our player of the week. This week's Player of the Week honors go out to Sandia Matador's Mr. Everything, Cameron Bean. So far this season, Bean has played quarterback, tight end, and defensive end. In a victory over Volcano Vista last Friday, Bean put up impressive numbers. He had two sacks, 13 tackles, caught a touchdown pass, threw a touchdown, and recovered an onside kick. The game definitely slowed down because I got, you know, bigger and faster and, you know, this, I, like, this, this, it was just an instinct for me, like, to make a play. Uh, he's definitely a Division One football player. He has uh, that type of talent. He's probably one of the top two or three guys I've ever coached. 